Welcome to another edition of Rock the Stage Media episode. I'm your host, Rich Bontrager. Today we're featuring a husband and wife movie producer couple. Harold and Nan Klein will be my guests today and their release of the award-winning documentary film, Trauma to Triumph, The Rise of the Entrepreneur. We had a very tragic incident in our family dealing with uh, race. It was, very, it was a very traumatizing in, a time in our house because we needed the money. Then the doctor called, and when she delivered me the news that you know I had cancer, I thought the world was done with me. I thought that I would die. And I was with one of the hospital corpsmen, opened it up, and from the floor to the ceiling were body bags. They were all my platoon. To load us up on a train, easy, 150 people. We start asking in Polish where they taking us. So the people make like this. I ended up in waking up, bleeding. I knew something horrible had happened. He raped me. He raped me. Harold, before we get into discussing trauma to triumph. I think it's really important to share a little bit about how you and Nan got into the movie business. It all began 45 years ago, like 1976, correct? Nan and I are dating and um, as a nice Jewish girl, she's concerned, what are you gonna do with the rest of your life? And she approaches me on Brooklyn College campus. I'm studying television and radio and film. And I'm saying, well, of course, I'm gonna be a uh, big time producer, director, you know, up there with Spielberg and all them. And she says, how are you going to make money, really? So I went out and did a little market research, and I found out that I really wasn't going to get a job in the television industry. And video, there was no video back then. No. Betamax, VHS was not out yet. So when our professor held up a portable video machine and said, you could play this on TV with big reels. I don't know if you remember the old reel-to-reel -reel audio. Um, I had a business idea. It was, I had an idea because I knew a little bit about retail. I said, I could go to retail stores, show their goods, put it in their windows. And people will say, how did you get that, your store on TV? And so it was an attraction and we had to lend the video equipment to the stores and we were charging $70 a production. And uh, that was fine. So uh, we took out a loan for $2,000, started a business and we got into uh, from stores on the street to stores in the malls to corporate uh, headquarters for some of these stores to other corporations and built, uh, I would say, if I may say, uh, we built an impressive following of some of the greatest companies in the country, in the world. So Nam, when he retells that story, what's <laughs> it like to now say it's been all this time and we're producing a film? What's it like for you to come all the way through that again? What was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I should have listened to my mother. Um, no, it's uh, we we sometimes look at each other and say, you know, how did we do it? We supported. Uh, we have four boys, and we supported them through uh, private school as well as college, and um, so it was. So we're very we're very proud of um, of, of of where we came and where we came from and so, where we're going. Well, and okay, so let's talk about where you're going. Trauma to Triumph, The Rise of the Entrepreneur. It's a film series, but tell me from either one of you, who kind of birthed this the idea and how, how did this film come about? Well, the, uh, it came about through a relationship that we have with Steve Mariotti. Yeah, I don't know if you know Steve. Steve is the founder of the Network for Teaching Entrepreneurship and He's responsible for graduating 1.2 million at-risk youth uh, for no cost, because it's fully funded by corporations and what have you, in the skills and, and, the, and the ways of entrepreneurship. And he, uh, and we have a very close relationship for many years. We met him in the 90s through Inc. Magazine. And to hear Steve, you, you, you know that he's a preacher. He's a teacher and a preacher a preacher of the power of entrepreneurship. 
and that it can lift you out of your adversity, your conflict, your poverty, um, and more than that. So through that relationship, and it's a long story, um, we got to huddling and we did some experiment shooting and we knew uh, this fellow through an author who wrote a book called The Angel of the Ghetto, uh, this, this man who was featured on, on uh, Survivors of War episode, Sam Solaz, uh, he was recommended to us by the co-author of his biography. So Solaz is a Holocaust survivor. And uh, when you see and hear his story, uh, you went through tough times, uh, Rich, and challenging times. And I, I did. My father's a survivor, too. But what he did and how he did it is just uh, jaw dropping. So I'm interesting, Nan, when you guys have done the interviews and set this up and explored the backstories, I found it, and I'm curious if it's true, many of the entrepreneurs have gone through a pain, a, 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 a crucible of some kind, and that's part of the reason they are entrepreneurs. Is that true in what you found, Nan, as you did this series? Yes, we did. We found that um, entrepreneur, it, entrepreneur, entrepreneurial people are risk takers, but they, but the, the risk is lightened by the life that they had. So the things that they had in their life, the turmoil that they experienced, entrepreneurship is, is by far less of turmoil than they had in their lives. So everything, you know, everything just, um, just worked out in, in that way. You know, there's reasons for, for each, each one of our interviewees, there's reasons why they became entrepreneurs. Each one had a very, good decision in, in going forward with uh, to, to become an entrepreneur. Um, and each one of those came from their turmoil. I am going to build a medical practice. Everybody thought I was completely insane. I think when somebody is faced with tragedy in their life, you have two options. You can lay down and take it, or you can stand up and you can fight back. That's what an entrepreneur does. It's not about a business. It's about a, a state of mind. You are a victim until there is a change and you become a survivor. What an amazing clip from your film, Trauma to Triumph. It's about survivors and the entrepreneurial spirit. Nan, is there any one person or maybe one story that really sticks out? Maybe something extra special that you wanna share? Thinking about this question and, and how entrepreneurship just became um, a natural progression for this woman. Her name is Maria Trousseau. And uh, when I first spoke with her and why we even called her was because she was an immigrant. And we know that all immigrants, you know, have stories and how difficult it is to come to the United States and learn the language. And that was going to be the cross that she had to bear. That was originally what we, that, you know, why we thought we were interviewing her and how she got to the United States, how her mother had to send money back and poverty that she felt in the Dominican Republic. But that was, that was so minimal to her story that I found out later. And this story, she never shared with anyone. She was born in the Dominican Republic and at age, I think six or eight, her father wanted, her mother was already in the States trying to send money back to her. And her father uh, wanted to send her brother, her younger brother to a witch doctor. And Maria says, you're not sending him, you're not sending him, I'll go instead. She did go and she was profusely raped in a hotel room. And she, they couldn't find her. Her older brother went looking for her. They finally found her. He carried her back over the threshold. And uh, for years, that was her torment. And uh, in the interim, she married. And he, she married an abusive man. At, and, at 17, at 17. And she had a child. She had two children with him and then decided that she was going to leave him. She was doing, she was, she was able to support herself. 
And I guess she had disposable income and decided to get breast implants. And one day those breast implants started leaking and she almost lost her life. When she was in the hospital and the um, father was giving her her last rites, she made it. And uh, she decided that she needed to give back to the Latin community, the underserved community. She left her very good, she left a very good salary and uh, decided to open up this practice whereby she gets doctors to sign on and for minimal fees, the Hispanic population is able to sign on to her practice and get any type of medical care you can think of. And she's so successful with it that she's opening up another practice like that. Extremely compelling. And again, like you said, that is truly unbelievable. Near death, out of the country, in the country, divorce. I mean, there's a lot of layers. How long is that story on video now that you've captured that story? So many hours. But right now in the documentary itself, is it about 20 minutes, Harold? Yeah, probably story? about 18, 18 minutes. 18, 18, 19 minutes. minutes. But we, you know, we have enough footage and we would like to someday just do a documentary and we have all of the information. You know, we have everything. We have all, we captured everything, her story, her, um, her nanny story, her, you know, anyone who looked after her when she was in the Dominican Republic as a child. So uh, we have, we have great footage, but right now for a PBS, um, it's, a, it's about 20 minutes. So when people go to trauma to triumph films.com, what will people see there, Harold, when they check out your website? What you'll find is a description of the two documentaries that are airing right now nationwide on various PBS stations in the world channel. And you had mentioned that you service also educators. And we made a series of programs called the uh, Trauma to Triumph, the Entrepreneurial Educational Experience that is going to launch in about a month um, to universities and high schools that takes the five stories that are featured on our documentary and five others that are not featured on the documentary. And uh, we tell this story in brief, even shorter than the 18 minutes, 20 minutes that Nan spoke about. And then we uh, follow it through with the practical steps these people took in their words, they share with the steps that he took to start and grow their businesses. And in some instances, so for example, with Maria, um, we have a Hispanic psychiatrist viewing the film and taking apart the various things that Maria went through and sharing, well, let's look at what Maria did that led to our success. Harold and Nan, congratulations on what you have filmed and captured with your Trauma to Triumph film. Nan, I'm gonna give you the last question of our time here together. If someone was to ask you, why should I go watch Trauma to Triumph, The Rise of the Entrepreneur, what would you say to them? What I see as the, um, the connect between all of the entrepreneurs is, is the fight, the perseverance, the fight, uh, believe the belief in oneself and not to not to give in to the trauma that they experienced. Nan, I think that's exactly true. And I'm thrilled that you are doing a project like this. And I hope that you get more of the funding that you need to keep producing more films and telling these amazing stories. And now if you want to learn more about Harold and Nan Klein and the ongoing work of Trauma to Triumph and these amazing stories, visit their website, www.traumatotriumphfilms.com. Once again, it's trauma to triumphfilms.com. Until next time, I'm your host, The Trigger, Rich Von Trigger. I look forward to meeting you next time in another Rock the Stage media episode.